sixth grade, module five, lesson 14 classwork. Example one, the area of the base of a sandbox is nine and a half feet squared. The volume of the sandbox is seven and one eighth feet cubed. Determine the height of the sandbox. So it's saying that the area of the base, so the area of this top part, or you could think of it as the bottom part, is seven, or sorry, the area of the base is nine and a half feet squared. And we know the volume is equal to 7 and 1 eighth. So volume is equal to area of the base times the height. So let's fill in what we know. We know the volume is 7 and 1 eighth. So 7 and 1 eighth feet cubed is equal to the area of the base 9 and 1 half feet squared times the height. We don't know the height. So what we can do is divide by nine and a half feet squared to figure out the height. So let's do seven and one eighth divided by nine and a half. So I'm gonna make them improper fractions. Seven times eight is 56 plus one is 57 eighths divided by nine times two is 18, plus one is 19 halves. So remember, we're gonna flip and then multiply. So make that two nineteenths times 57 eighths. So 57 times two is 104. And eight times 19 is 152. So we get 104 over 152. But let's reduce that. Um, I, they're both even, so I'm just gonna start by dividing it by two, because I don't know many other factors they have in common. So let's do 57, 152 divided by two. Let's see, 150 divided by two would be 75. So 152 divided by two would be 76. Let's see, 57 and 76, do they have anything in common? So they actually both can be divided by 19. And when we do that, we get 3 fourths. So the height is equal to 3 fourths feet, 3 fourths of a foot. So this is 3 fourths foot. B, the sandbox was filled with sand, but after the kids played, some of the sand spilled out. Now the sand is at a height of half a foot. Determine the volume of the sand after the children played in it. So instead of being at three fourths, like the height we just figured out, it's now at a half. So what we're gonna do is the same formula, volume is equal to area of the base times the height but this time, the volume, we don't know. But we do know the area of the base stays the same. It's nine and a half feet squared. And it tells us that the height is half a foot. So let's do nine and a half times one half. I'm gonna make nine and a half into 19 halves times one half would be equal to 19 fourths and four goes into 19 four times. That would be 16. 19 minus 16 is three fourths. So through four and three fourths feet cubed is the new volume. Example two. A special order sandbox has been created for children to use as an archeological digging area at the zoo. Determine the volume of the sandbox. Okay, so we're just back to finding the area of composite figures. So what we need to do is break it into two different rectangular prisms. We could either do this and have this rectangular prism and this one, or you can break it across like this. So you have the one in the front and the one in the back. Um, it typically doesn't matter, but we have to make sure that we just have all the measurements we need for each one. So I'm gonna go with this one. 
So we have rectangular prism A and rectangular prism B. So let's start with the volume of A. So the length is 5 meters. The width is 2 meters. And the height, we might have to search for that, height is a fifth of a meter. And then the volume of B, so this front one, up here, the length is two and one fourth. The width is not this four and one third because we've cut it off right here. So the width, we're looking for just this length, which is right there, two and one third meters. And the height is the same, all around is one fifth. Okay, so let's solve A. So we have five times two times one fifth would be equal to 10 fifths or two meters cubed. And then B, two and one fourth is nine fourths times two and one third would be seven thirds times one fifth. Nine times seven is 63 times one is 63. Four times three is 12 times five is 60. So we get 63 sixtieths or one and three sixtieths meters cubed. And then our final step is we just need to put those two together and we will have two meters cubed plus one and three sixtieths meters cubed is equal to three and three sixtieths meters cubed. We can reduce this. This would be three and one twentieth meters cubed is the volume of the composite figure up here. Exercises number one. The volume of the rectangular prism is 35 fifteenths yards cubed. Determine the missing measurement using a one-step equation. So a one-step equation means that it only takes one step for you to solve it. So I'll show you kind of what that means. So we know that they've given us the volume. We need to find the missing me measurement, which looks to be the height. We don't know height, but we know the area of the base. So volume is equal to area of the base times height. So we have 35 fifteenths yards cubed is equal to the four fifths yards because that's the area of the base squared times the height. We don't know the height. So this is a one step equation because it's going to take us one step to solve it. All we have to do is divide by four fifths because we need to reverse this multiplication and we can do that by dividing. So we have 35 fifteenths and I'm going to reduce that. We can divide them both by 5. It'll just make it easier on the other end. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So let's do 7 thirds divided by 4 fifths. Remember, we're going to flip and multiply the second one. So 7 thirds times 5 fourths is 35 twelfths. And 12 goes into 35, let's see, twice. 2 times 12 is 24. We would have 11 twelfths left over. So 2 and 11 twelfths yards is equal to the height. B, the volume of the box is 45 sixth meters cubed. Determine the area of the base using a one-step equation. Okay, so we know volume is equal to area of the base times height. So let's fill in what we know. We know the volume is 45 sixths. That's equal to the area of the base we don't know. 
So I'm just going to call that the area of the base times the height, 9 halves meters. And again, I'm going to reduce what I can. So 45 sixths, I can divide both of those by 3. So 15 halves meters cubed is equal to the area of the base times 9 halves meters. So by one step equation, all I need to do is divide by 9 halves. And so we have 15 halves divided by 9 halves, and we're going to flip and then multiply. We get 30 eighteenths. 30 eighteenths would be equal to 1 and 12 eighteenths. We can reduce 12 eighteenths to, let's see, we can divide them both by 6. So it would be equal to 1 and 2 thirds meters cubed is equal to the area of the base. Number two, Marissa's fish tank needs to be filled with more water. Determine how much water the tank can hold. So we want to know how much the whole tank could hold. So we're looking at the whole rectangular prism here. Not just what the water is in, not just what the water is not in. So the whole rectangular prism, the length is 3 fourths meters. The width is 1 fourth meter. And the height of the whole thing is 3 fifths meters. So let's do 3 fourths times 1 fourth times 3 fifths would be equal to 9. And then 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 4 would be 80. So we get 9 80 meters cubed. As that's how much the whole tank could hold. Determine how much water is already in the tank. So now we know to know the blue part, how much is already in the tank. So the volume of the water, the length is still 3 fourths meters. The width is still 1 fourth meter. This time the height, the height of just the water, this part right here is 3 eighths meters. So 3 fourths times 1 fourth times 3 eighths is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 8 is 9 over 128 meters cubed. That's how much water, the, the volume of the water is. How much more water is needed to fill the tank? So if we wanted to fill the whole tank, what we could do is we know the volume of the whole thing. So the volume of the whole thing is 9 80ths. And we could subtract the water to figure out how much more we need. Minus 9 over 128. And we could figure it out that way. Or we could find the volume of the last part because it looks like it's going to find be a hard time finding a common denominator for that. So we're just going to find the area of this missing top piece right here. So we have the length is still 3 fourths. The width is still 1 fourth meter. And the height of just this little piece right here we know the whole height is 3 fifths, and we know this height is 3 eighths. So let's do 3 fifths minus 3 eighths to figure out what that missing piece is. So common denominator for 5 and 8, that's 40. So 3 fifths is equal to how many 40 ths? We need to multiply by 8. So 24 40 ths minus 3 eighths is equal to. 15 fortieths. So 24 fortieths minus 15 fortieths is 11 fortieths. 
or sorry, nine fortieths. So this little piece is nine fortieths. So times nine fortieths meters. Three fourths times one fourth times nine fortieths is 27. Four times four is 16. 16 times 40 is, oh, this was a four, not a one. Let me do that again. So put our zero down. Four times six is 24. Four times one is four, plus two is six. So we get 640. 27, 640 meters cubed is the volume that we need to fill the tank. Number three, determine the volume of the composite figures. All right, so we can break it up in two different ways. Um, I'm going to do this. So we'll have A and B. So the volume of A, the length is 2 meters by the width is 12 meters times the height. It's the same height all around. So the height's right there is 3 and 1 fourth meter. And then let's find the dimensions of B. So the length is nine and a half meters by the width is two and a half, two and one third meters times the height is three and one fourth meter. So let's solve them. I'll start with B since I'm already here. Okay, so nine and a half would be 19 halves times two and one third is seven thirds times three and one fourth would be 13 fourths. So let's multiply that all out. So 19 times 7 is 9 times 7 is 63. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 6 is 13. So we need to do 133 times 13. We get 1,729, and 2 times 3 is 6, times 4 is 24, so 1,729 24ths. Let's make that into a mixed number, because that's a very large improper fraction. Okay, so 24 can't go into 1 or 17. It could go into 172. Let's see, maybe six or seven times. Yeah, seven times. Twenty-four could go into forty-nine twice, because that's forty-eight. We get one left over, so we have seventy-two and one twenty-fourth. meters cubed for B. Now let's do A. A has less fractions, so this should be easier. So 2 times 12 times 3 and 1 fourth is equal to 12 13 fourths. 2 times, or let's do 12 times 13 first. Doesn't matter what order you do it in. 156 times 2 312 fourths so let's do 312 divided by 4 make that into an improper or mixed number 4 goes into 31 7 times bring down the 2 4 goes into 32 8 times so this is equal to 78 
meters cubed. And our final step is to just add those two together. So add A and B together, 78 meters cubed plus 72 and 1 24th meters cubed. So let's do 78 plus 72 is 150 and then the 1 24th meters cubed. All right, B. So we need to find the volume of this large composite figure. So I'm going to, there's different ways we can break it up. I am going to do, make a long back piece here. So we have that big piece in the back. And then let's do the middle. Let's just do it that way. So we have A, B, and C. So let's find the volume of A first, the big piece. So the length is one and a half feet by the width is half a foot by the height is three fourths feet. So let's solve that. So we have three halves times one half times three fourths is equal to nine. Two times two is four times four is 16. So A is equal to nine sixteenths feet cubed. Let's find the volume of B. So the length is this part right across here. And this part is one half, and this part is one fourth. So we need to add one half and one fourth to get the whole length. A half plus a fourth is three fourths feet times the width is one half times the height is right here, three fourths feet. So if we add that together, is nine, four times two is eight, eight times four is 32. So nine thirty seconds feet cubed for B and then C right here. So the length is this piece right here, which is one fourth times the width is this part right here, and there's a one fourth pointing to that, so that's also one fourth. Times the height is the same as all of them, three fourths. So one fourth times one fourth times three fourths is equal to three, four times four is 16, times four is 60 fourths. Our final step is to add all of these together. So we're going to add 9 sixteenths and 9 thirty seconds and 3 sixty fourths. So we need to find a common denominator, and our common denominator is going to be 64 because 16 and 32 are both factors of 64. So 9 sixteenths is equal to how many 64 fourths? Well, 16 times 4 is 64. So 9 times 4 is 36. And then 9 30 seconds is equal to how many 64 fourths? 32 times 2 is 64, so 18 64 fourths. So we have 36 64 fourths plus 18 60 fourths plus 3 60 fourths. Let's do 36 plus 18. It's 54 plus another three would be 57 60 fourths. So the volume of the entire thing 57 64 feet cubed.